you are new to Family Tree Maker 2017, upgrading from an older version, or have been using the program for a while. This is getting started and taking a look around. I just want to point out I'm using Software Mac Kiev Family Tree Maker 2017 Windows version that was released in 2017. I'm on an older laptop that came with Windows 7 but is running Windows 10. Now, there was an update released in February 2018. I'm not using it for two reasons. I haven't had time to install it and I'm keeping my program the same version as a cousin has while we work on something. For those that are already running the update from February 2018, don't worry, everything here still applies to that release also. In either situation, in order to use the records merge feature, you must have the Family Tree Maker 2017 version and be signed into your Family Search account, which is free, or and or be signed into your Ancestry data subscription to access the record collections on Ancestry, which requires a subscription fee. Now at this point, you should have Family Tree Maker installed and ready to go. But if you're having installation problems, which I'm not really covering here, I suggest you first double check that your computer meets the minimum operating system requirements. Then visit the Software Mac Kiev website, go to Support, Family Tree Maker, use the keyword search or manually scroll for installing Family Tree Maker 2017 support articles. There, you will often find it in the top 10 most popular articles or not too far down at this point. So there are two articles, one for Windows and one for Mac. If you need more help than that, use the live chat service to connect with a Software Mac Kiev customer support person. There's also a, if you're on Facebook, a um, Family Tree Maker group that you have to join um, to see what the, the group site. Um, there is no telephone support for Family Tree Maker. For those who are upgrading from older Family Tree Maker versions, do make sure you follow the instructions and back up your Family Tree files before opening them in Family Tree Maker 2017. There's some support articles regarding this too. Once you open an older version of Family Tree Maker tree file, in a newer upgrade version, you cannot open that file with the older Family Tree Maker program. So make sure you do a backup in the older Family Tree Maker program. And once you have opened the tree files in Family Tree Maker 2017, then immediately perform a backup in the T Family Tree Maker 2017 version so you have a copy before you start adding, changing, and deleting things in the tree file. Now speaking of backups, though you can create a backup to your hard drive of your tree file, um, it is better to save that backup to a larger USB drive or an external hard drive or even the cloud. That is because if you have your backup and your original file on your hard drive and something happens to your hard drive, um, you'll lose both. You'll potentially lose both copies. So if that backup's on a USB drive or an external drive or in the cloud, you at least have something to start with instead of having to start from scratch. So let's take a look around the Family Tree Maker interface. All the different options and features in Family Tree Maker are organized so that similar things are together, which means for Family Tree Maker there are seven workspaces. These workspaces are Plan, People, Places, Media, Sources, Publish, and Web Search. I will cover each of these workspaces in separate videos. When your Family Tree Maker program open, it starts off in the Plan workspace. I'll cover that workspace in the next video. For now, we're just going to focus on understanding this interface. Like many applications, there are often several ways to access and do the same task. At the top of the family